beautiful brand spanking new home of Oklahoma Sooner Softball. Loves Field in Norman. You're watching Sooner Softball presented by Bud Light on Sooner Vision from ESPN+. Plus. For the first time in 377 days, the three-time defending national champion Oklahoma Sooners are coming on the road at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. The Sooners will be here in the Big 12 opener against Iowa State. That one slashed past the diving Alyssa Burrito and out into left field. A leadoff single on a payoff pitch, and Taya Pitts is aboard to start things here for Texas A&M. Going to be quick, alert. I know that. Swing and a miss. First strikeout for Kirsten Deal. Pop up on the infield. Foul ground. Brito from third has it. Two down. Center field provides a nice hitting backdrop. On the move is Pitts, and the throw is not in time. And that'll be the 43rd stolen base of the year for the Lions. Pitts is now 7 of 8 in that cap. BI producer on this team with 10. And there's strike three, so a pair of strikeouts by Deal after the leadoff single. And And a leadoff walk. Yeah, Coach Gasso told us that they want to be here. If they want to practice on this field, they've got to shut down construction, and that's not something they're able to do right now. Rito hits a lazy fly ball to left that's caught by Arzola for the first out. The space you have on the foul lines. That one is smoked to right field, backing up is Griffith, but she will catch it as Jennings just got under it a little bit. Boone is able to retreat to first base. And it's a four-pitch walk to the Sooner catcher. Second walk of the inning issued by Muller. Pickering drills this one just over the glove of Griffith. And the bases will clear. Pickering stops at second base with a two-run double to start the Sooner scoring. It's 2-0 Oklahoma. City Pickering here, her second double, and now 15 RBIs. It's a really great piece of hitting, just battling some stuff off that she can't really work with, but she's got to stay alive. It's really very close. This is smoked by Parker, and it's gone. She turns and burns to right field. And the Sooners have a 5-0 lead in the first. Ella Parker, the designated player tonight for the Sooners, blasts her fourth home run of the season. And Ella Parker, she's got a career ahead of her, and I'm so excited for it. But just, she's so quick to contact, so strong. You see her backside release. That pitch was left up. You cannot afford to do that with a hitter like Ella Parker. So lockdown. A little shift over from second to short for Tiara Jennings. And second base occupied by Hodge and Torres this year. Hodge grounds out, but this more than anything. And three errors in the loss to Louisiana, but mental mistakes, base running errors as yes, well. Yes, I was just going to touch on that. We saw some mental errors, base running. We saw some, you know, throw. Well manicured. And a fastball that's in and a swinging strike three. That's four strikeouts now for to be the batter. And now 20. Four strikeouts on the season for Deal. Behe hits a flare on the infield that's caught by Hodge, and the inning is over. Set it in over the weekend. Drills that one past the third baseman, Seife. Sanders motors to second with a leadoff double in the second. It's over 500 in the Women's College World Series the last two years. There's a good bunt. The second baseman, Meehe, was pulled off the bag, and everybody will be safe. Rito flied out to the left fielder, Arzola, her first time. In the air, straightaway center field. Pitts back near the warning 
track will make the catch. Sidney Sanders scores, though, and it's 6 nothing Sooners. Sacrifice fly to center for Alyssa Brito. And that is her 20th RBI. Just getting under that pitch. Arredondo just getting that little bit of a rise to that. 6 nothing lead, and Jennings back up there. On the move goes Boone, and the throw is... On target, a strike there from Hilton. And the tag is applied. Boone is caught stealing for the first out here in the second. I feel like so this is just a little bit more intimate. Hard hit ground ball to third. Safe's throw is in time, and the inning is over. But the Sooners get another run on two hits. And national championship number three in a row. One hopper here, scooped by Jennings, and a strike to first for the first out. And then the Sooners began this year with 18. I think that Kinsey Hansen and Tiari Jennings are just as good of leaders off the field. And that is five strikeouts now for Deal. Little flare that's caught by Jennings. Nine straight set down by Deal. And the Sooners. 373 hitter. Hard hit bouncing ball, and it's through into center field. It's a leadoff single in the third. I don't venture into any of those areas. As Pickering sends this one toward left and just over the outstretched glove of Arzola. Ludlam was on the move with contact, and she'll score easily from first base. It is 7 0 Oklahoma. And Cassidy Pickering has driven in three. Time to figure out. The timing, the pitches she can work with. She understands her contact points perfectly. It's an outside pitch that she's able to just see deeper in the zone and go opposite field. 14 runs. Hit back up the middle and a base hit to center field. Pickering will score easily. The throw to second gets away. And it's an RBI double for Jada Coleman to give the Sooners an 8 0 lead in the third. Really seeing that ball up in the zone and getting her barrel up just a little bit to keep that ball from going straight into the air. Seeing it as a line drive. It's a tough pitch to hit because you've got to keep those hands down and just make sure the barrel stays on time. A pop up, shallow left field. Arzola is in to make the catch. I'm happy that Chris Plank, the voice of Sooner softball, has a booth instead of being outdoors. Yeah. <laughs> As Hodge drops one into shallow left center field, she slides in safely at second with an RBI double that scores Jada Coleman, and it's 9 nothing Sooners. And four in the game now for the Sooners. And just a perfectly placed slap. That's where you want to see these balls go between the 5-6 hole, splitting the gap in the left and center field. Keeping that ball on the left side of the field is the goal there. Sanders scored on Alyssa Brito's sacrifice flies. This one has popped up. Looks like it'll stay in play, and what little breeze there might be would help that as well, as it's caught by Hilton, the catcher, for the second out. Squares that one up, but right at the shortstop, Powell. That was kind of a knuckleball, and Powell hung on to it for the final out. But this look gets underway tomorrow up at T-Mobile Arena in Kansas City. This ground ball, Hodge is now over there playing shortstop, and Quincy Lilio, I believe, has come in to play second. Hannah Kaur playing right. That'll be a pop-up. Hodge is just going to take care of all of the outs, and it doesn't matter who else is out there. <laughs> Alina Torres over at third. Crowd anticipating a strikeout, and they get it. One, two, three inning for Peyton Monticelli. Yeah, Alina Torres has done a really good job. Right on cue. <laughs> she peppers this one down the left field line. Arzola comes up with it. One that far at think, one point in yeah. their career. I'd this agree. Uh, popped up by Lilio. Caught in fair territory by Seife. Ludlam got under that one. And 
the shortstop Powell is out called off by Pitts racing in from center field to grab out number two. Really good communication. Land hits a pop up toward third. Safe drifting into foul ground and the inning is over. Sooners are able to put that away and they can close this one out when we get here. Fly ball to right field and taken care of by Bland for the first out. The advocate, great leader, great coach. As Brittany Miller said she is old school. There's a swinging strikeout of Diaz and the Sooners are back up the middle and the second hit of the ball game for the Lions. It comes off the bat of Tatum Wright with two down in the fifth. It's a good battle by Wright that Coach Gasso wants to see her pitchers come out on top of. And there's ball four as that skitters away from Ludlum. Runners at first and second now, and Ashlyn Griffith will be the batter. And there it is. Oklahoma is back in the win count. Monticelli strikes out Guerrero. Two strikeouts in the inning, three in the game for her. The Sooner staff combines for eight strikeouts, and Oklahoma wins it 9-0.